Centipedes 100 Shoes by Tony Ross. Ow, said the little centipede, was not looking where he was going, and he hurt his toe. But which one? Not this one, or this one. Mom will know. I'll kiss it better, said Mom. Is this one, or is it this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, or this one? At last, Mom found the hurt toe and kissed it better. Tomorrow you must get some shoes, she said. Early in the morning, the little centipede's mom took him to the shoe store. 100 shoes, please, said the little centipede. 50 left ones and 50 right ones. Why do you want 100? asked the shoe seller. Because I'm a centipede, which means 100 feet, said the little centipede. Do you want lace-ups or buckles? asked the shoe seller. Lace-up, please, says the little centipede. Lace-ups are more grown-up. So the little centipede tried on shoes until he found the ones he liked, and the shoe salesman wrapped them up. The next day, the little centipede put on his shoes. It took a long time. Then he had to tie them up the laces, and at last he had finished. He had 58 shoes left over. That's because most centipedes only have 42 legs, said his granddad. And then it was bedtime and time to start taking the shoes off again. The next morning, the little centipede put on the shoes again. This time he was quicker and he was better at tying in the laces. So after lunch, he went for a walk. Oh, mom, he cried, my new shoes hurt. That's because you have no socks on, said his mother. And the little centipede started to take off his shoes again. And his aunties all began to knit socks. The next morning, the little centipede put on all his socks. He had, th he had his lunch, then started to put on his shoes. Right after supper, he went for a walk. My feet feel fine now, Mom, he said. Time for bed, said his mother. So the little centipede took off all his shoes and tumbled into bed. You can't sleep with your socks, said his mother. So he took off his socks as well. The next morning, the little centipede looked at all the shoes and socks. Oh, I don't think he'll bother, he, he sighed. So he put on 100 shoes and his 42 socks into his little wheelbarrow. And gave them all to his friends with fewer legs. He gave shoes to five spiders, four beetles, two wood lice, and a grasshopper. With socks for the five spiders and with enough shoes and socks left. For two worms. What a pair! 